Welcome back to my cheeky YouTube channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're not doing junk food, we are going uber healthy, but we're not eating it. It's for my dog. Aww. I mean, a lot of vegans have vegan dogs. If you need a good vegan dog food recipe, this is what we make Doug. He loves it and it's simple, it's easy, and we've all got the ingredients in our cupboard. Do your research, don't come at me if you don't agree with it. That's up to you what you decide to do, I'm not getting involved, so. Yeah, we're cooking it. We thought we'd film it. We thought we would show you it. Subscribe to our Cheeky Little YouTube channel. Go and check me out on Instagram and Facebook and let me know in the comments if you want me to do some cheeky little dog food treats, little vegan dog food treats. He likes them. You may like them. People can eat them. Dogs can eat them. Your nan can eat them. Whatever you want. I'm not the boss. So let's make this. So, to a cheeky pot, I always make sure that we give him some sort of pulse or legume. Um, so it's either lentils or a bean that we put in his meals. We always make sure we put some sort of starch in, so whether that be rice or potatoes. And then we always put a green veg in, and then we always put like a fatty thing in. So we've added five to six cups of boiling water in the pot. And then I'm going to add in first the kelp. There's loads of amino acids in kelp that a dog needs in their diet, which is actually lacking in a lot of their meat diets as well. So I pop some kelp in, and then we pop in some brown rice. I've got two cups of brown rice for Doug the Pug. I usually put this on the hob, but it doesn't really matter. You can cook it all in one go. I would use brown rice or white rice, or you could even use quinoa. It's up to you what you use. Just make sure it's like a healthy starch-based filler, you know? Then we've got half a cup of red lentils. And we've got some sweet potato. I've put up a medium potato. And Doug is very fussy, so we have to cut it up quite fine because otherwise he just leaves it. He doesn't like chewing, he's very lazy. And then we've got a large carrot that I've diced up. Some broccoli. I put the broccoli in towards the end and that's quite a lot of broccoli. So that's like a very large bowl. Just wing it in. He's a dog, they don't care. They don't really care. And then we'll add our seasonings a little bit later. Pop this on the hob until it's like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Until it's cooked, they're a dog. You don't need to do it exact. While we're waiting for the rice to cook, I've got a cheeky disclaimer to anyone who's come on this, to have a pot. But I'd like to read this to you all. To anyone who's here to be negative and rude, because we're not about that like you. Number one. To the sad axeth on YouTube -eth who've come here to have a go -eth. fuck off -eth. My dog is not an asshole like yourself, he doesn't go out of his way to upset people. And two, he is healthy, happy and perfectly chubby. Just like you, but you're not happy or healthy, you're just chubby. Number three, I have researched his diet and I've spoken to a dog dietitian and they said wow. What a wonderful diet for a pug. And I said, I oh, know, he's thriving. Number four, I don't care about your opinion, quite frankly, Barbara. Go and do something else with your time, please. And number five, if you're still here to have a go at me at this stage about feeding my dog and then I'm abusing my poor dog the pug, I suggest you take a very long walk off a cliff whilst using some social distancing and not infringing yourself upon society anymore and just keep walking. So it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to cook. Just bung it all in a pan, let it boil away. We gradually changed them over to a vegan diet. It probably took about two weeks. So they gave us meat. And what we did is we just gradually gave him like maybe three quarters for a couple of days and then half 
vegan food, half meat, and then just gradually incorporated it. And we just tested it, see, saw if his stomach was okay. And he adapted to it really well. We've never had a problem with him. He's very regular, you know, and he's happy. He loves his little vegan meals. But go and, you know, obviously ask your dog dietitian what you think about their meal plan, if you think it's okay. There's loads of stuff online now that you can read about. Oh! Oh! Say hi, Doug. He's my special wicker boy. He loves his food. Doug the pug loves his vegan food. Don't you, Doug? Keep still. He loves his food. And uh, we give him that. We give him, we give him a small bowl twice a day because he's only a little puppy dog. And, you know, we give him little snacks. He has carrots in between. He has, we roast sweet potato. He loves that as a little snack. And sometimes if we can't be bothered to make food like this all the time, there's a good brand called Bee Dog. They're really good. Um, and I'll, Link, I'll leave a few links of vegan dog food that we give Doug um, if we don't always make a big batch of food. So just keep an eye on them. Obviously don't convert them straight away to a vegan diet and do your research. So yeah, go make your dog some vegan food. Bye! I can't wait for my dinner, Dad. I can't wait for my fucking dinner, my fucking dinner, dinner, dinner. Uh.